hello everyone welcome to obs studio tutorials in this video we are going to see that how can we sync up the audio and video in obs studio so uh, why is the syncing up of audio and video is necessary it is necessary because uh, in obs studio the video capturing or the video processing actually takes much more time than audio processing so uh, what happens usually is you might get an impression that your audio and video are getting captured at the same time but when your video is finished it is processed and you get a final product then you will see that your audio and video are not syncing properly and this is a very common issue and that is very easy to avoid so instead of giving a distorted experience to your viewers let us just take a few very simple steps and make sure that our audio and the videos are synced beforehand in obs studio as well so the first step is you need to have at least one video capture source and one audio capture source so right now in my obs studio i have a video capture source and i'm just going to add an audio capture source now in case you don't have any of them you need to add them by going to the sources and clicking on the plus icon for the audio you need to add an audio input capture device and for the video you need to add a, a video capture device so let me just add an audio input capture device and it is going to be my realtek microphone click on ok now once you do that you will see that the audio input capture and the video capture device both are added over here okay next step what we are going to do is just click on these three dots in the audio input capture that would take us to these options from where we need to go to advanced audio properties let's just click on that now in the advanced audio properties you will see some things like this that are for both audio and video now why are these uh, for both audio and video because what happens generally is when you are setting up a video capture device it is has an inbuilt microphone like if you are using an external camera it has an inbuilt microphone so that is also going to capture some of the audio for you in my case the audio is not there but in your case the audio may be there that is why we are getting the options for both of them okay but what we need to do is we need to just focus on the audio input capture uh, device over here so the thing that you need to go to is sync offset and you need to change it to 220 milliseconds now this is a mandatory step you might get in the preview that your audio and the video are actually syncing but you need to change it to a 220 ms why because after processing the audio and the video sync gets distorted okay so right now you might get to see that okay my audio is uh, lining up perfectly well why do i need to change it but trust me just take it to a two and two, uh, 220 milliseconds now this is uh, something this is a value that is generally used 220 but that is bound to change as per your processing speed of the system in this case what we are going to do uh, that's what we are going to discuss the first thing that you can do is use the audio monitoring but that is not a very reliable option so what i'm going to do is just i'm just going to close it by offsetting it then click on start recording once you have clicked on start recording you need to record your audio and video and just speak something make some gestures make some sounds maybe use a clap that is a very good uh, parameter that once you are clapping in the video that's the exact time your clapping audio is getting captured so once you're done with that just stop the recording and take a look at that particular recording once the whole recording you are satisfied with the recording then it's okay otherwise you can just click on these three dots go to advanced audio properties and just change the sync offset until and unless you get a very synced audio and video in your output now please note one thing the input doesn't matter only the output is going to matter over here so the sync should be such that your audio and video both are getting recorded both are syncing well once you're happy with it just close it and uh, start recording your audio and your video and just uh process the video and that's it that's how you get a perfectly synced audio and video output in obs studio that's it for this video thanks for watching